Hi guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. I knew once I started talking, Wednesday would run away. Wednesday! It's my cat Wednesday. We'll see if Sunday shows up. She thought we were going to cuddle, but I started talking and she's not a fan. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do a sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do hauls like this. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So I'm trying to get back into filming and being better about it. I did mention that this camera is kind of new. As I'm filming this, I still haven't even edited any of the other ones I've filmed from the last couple of weeks. So hopefully the sound isn't terrible. I can't wear my mic with this camera because it's not the same as when I had it with my phone. So today is August 15th. I did this bins haul in Sacramento. I drive an hour to Sacramento, drive an hour home. I did this on Tuesday, so August 13th. So it's been a couple of days. I spent $61.46. I think it's about $2.29, 49 cents a pound right now um, where I go. These ended up being $1.62 average cost of goods and I got 38 items. <laughs> Usually I don't have all that information because I mostly just film these immediately when I get home. Anyway, I'm just going to get into what I got. Some of these are new to me brands, brands I've never sold before. Um, I think almost everything has been cleaned and a lot of this stuff's already listed or I have a draft of to be listed. This is a jumpsuit and jumpsuits do tend to be pretty popular right now. Um, this is like, it's not floral. I don't really know how to explain that print, but there you go. It's from a new to me brand I hadn't heard of. So I did check comps. It's field day made in Oakland size medium. And that's why I looked it up because it said it was made in Oakland. That usually means it's a smaller business and these things can tend to be more expensive. I think originally this was probably close to like 150. It's just 100% cotton. I thought it might be linen. And I think I listed this pretty high around 70. Comps were a little bit all over the place. Some really high, some not as high. But yeah, I'm excited to see what happens with that. I forgot I had this pile of stuff right next to me also. <laughs> Some of these things I haven't listed yet. This I washed, but I forgot to stain treat. So that's why it looks like that. I just put stain treater on it. Um, but it's this really cute one shoulder Y2K top with that little sailboat. I was so excited for this. So really hope these stains come out. Um, but it's Amber Crombie and Fitch, which tends to do pretty well in their newer things, but also in their Y2K pieces, especially when they're like trendy like this. So cute. I hope those stains come out. I don't usually pick up belts, especially like the leather ones. They tend to be really warped, but this one is, I don't know, cotton probably. It's from the brand Ginger Blue California. It seems just to be like a boutique brand. I'm still getting used to this camera. I don't know if it auto focuses, um, but it's called Ginger Blue. It also says it on the belt. There weren't many comps. I think this will sell between like, I don't know, 15 and 20, $25 maybe. They were originally $44. I just don't know how trendy this brand is, but I really, really liked these stripes. Um, and the colorway on that is very retro, so I think that will help. This also, <laughs> stripes. I feel like knit stripes are going to be very, very trendy for the fall and winter, especially these colorful ones. This is actually just a Gap scarf. I like when people don't take the tags off. I do love to pick up scarves at the bins because a lot of people just don't even look at them. Um... I have found Ibex and Smart Wool, like really good brands like that. But again, this is just Gap. It is 50% merino wool, 50% nylon. Um, but I picked it up mostly based on style. I haven't photographed it yet, but I do think that'll sell probably around 20, which is pretty good for Gap. Then I found these jeans. I was super excited to find these jeans. I love selling denim. Um, if you're new here, I 
pick up denim year round. I love selling denim. I love wearing denim. <laughs> this is the brand Good American. This is Khloe Kardashian's denim line. Technically, she doesn't, she isn't the CEO. I don't know if she owns it. I don't really know. Um, but these are their, because you can see the size says 14 18. I forgot what these are called, but it's like their fits. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen, but apparently these are pretty trendy. I don't do well with Good American in smaller sizes, and I've done okay with them in bigger sizes. I feel like they're just not as popular. This is a skinny raw hem, but I do think these will do well. I heard that <laughs> the jeans with the like size range, it's like a one size fits all situation, but for like a smaller range of sizes. So these would fit people between sizes 14 and 18. Which is nice, especially if your weight tends to fluctuate. Um, but I heard that that's more popular. I've never sold it before. So we'll see. I think I listed these at 60. They were dirty, and luckily the stains came out very easily. I always tend to list high because I get excited and then end up sitting on the pieces. But this was also a really fun find. I don't know fun is the word. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But these are a pair of Viori, Viori, I don't know how you pronounce it, men's shorts. These are, I think, the trail something shorts. These, I do think, are an older style for them. Um, so I don't know if that's going to affect the value. That's the logo there. But they also do tend to have, like, their branding with their full name on it um, and other parts of the clothing. This is, like, the... Fourth, I want to say piece of Viore I have sold. <laughs> Not all Viore pieces are going to sell for a lot. Um, those I think will probably sell, probably list them high again, around 40, but they'll probably sell around 30, I want to say. At least that's what comps looked like. Here's Gold Label Victoria's Secret. Just a cute pair of floral Hawaiian shorts probably pajama shorts but I do think someone can just wear these normal it is the end of summer so we'll see if those sell they don't have a size and I don't think gold label Victoria's Secret is as special as a lot of people make it out to be I've picked up a lot of it in the past and it isn't like huge bolos but I do just love to pick up vintage Y2K Victoria's Secret pieces um and especially on Depop they tend to do really well this doesn't really have the brand anywhere obvious. I had to read like the very small print. These are a pair of men's All Saints jeans. All Saints hit or miss. Sometimes I sit on it. Sometimes it sells pretty quickly. Sometimes a lot. Sometimes not too much. But when I see it at the bins, I do tend to pick it up. I don't think I listed these yet. I'm not sure how much these are going to get. They're a skinny men's like dark wash jean. Maybe around 30. <laughs> We'll see. These are a pair of Lululemon joggers. These are in like okay condition. Um, they do have a lot of wear to them. They're a size four and they're like the down jogger or something. Don't know why they're called that. They are a bit faded and again, they have a lot of wear to them, even to the logo. I just made sure to note that and I just listed them very low. I listed them at 20 and then We'll be sending out offers, especially on Poshmark, so we'll see <laughs> what that sells for. Probably not much, but hopefully quickly. These are a pair of frame jeans. I knew they were smaller when I picked them up, but I really liked the style, but I didn't really check the size, and I didn't realize they were a 23. I have not had good luck with size 23 jeans. I've sold size 24, and those are a hard sell because those are also very small, but these are practically children's jeans that's what I think of as a size 23 um so maybe back to school somebody will pick these up for their kids frame is really really hit or miss for me mostly miss I sit on them for a long time hoping to get around 30 for these they were originally like 235 dollars or something crazy and they are a newer style but I yeah I wouldn't pay up for frame just because I haven't had good luck with it I also know better than to pick up Madewell pieces, especially their skinny jeans, but because we're going into fall and these were in good condition, I did pick them up, but they are older. That's an older Madewell label. They're the high riser skinny and they're a size 28. 
So hopefully someone's just looking for a cute basic pair of jeans. Probably list those around 25 maybe. And then here's another pair. These ones are newer. These are a 31, which I'm hoping helps sells it. Usually bigger sizes for anything do better. But these are the 9-inch high-rise skinny. I think a 9-inch is more like a mid-rise, but... They call it their high-rise. And again, those are in good condition. So it was hard for me to pass on. And then the last piece I have up here before I get back into my bags is this really cool men's graphic print. <laughs> I don't know what I'm showing you. Polo. It's Guess, but it's Vintage Guess. Size small, made in Hong Kong. Single stitch, which when I have vintage stuff with a single stitch, I make sure I note that in the title. Just so people know, it's definitely vintage. And yeah, again, I don't know what I'm going to list this for. Comps are a little bit all over the place. Maybe 40. We are coming out of like the season where people would probably wear that. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe 30. I don't know. <laughs> Here is another Lululemon piece. This is actually a Lululemon jacket. It's really wrinkly right now. I did steam it, but it got wrinkled again. And this really had very little branding, but I did see the logo. You're not going to be able to see it on the drawstring. So I threw it in my bag. And then later I found the logo that was on the outside. This is a really, really lightweight jacket. Usually, especially on Poshmark, I will use the model photos for um, Lululemon pieces. But the model photo looks so much different than this actual jacket. And I don't know why, so I didn't include it. But it's just a really nice, basic, lightweight Lululemon jacket. I think it's a size 2. I forgot the name of it. This I was also surprised no one picked up. It is like a sleeveless turtleneck, so a little bit weird. But this is a newer Abercrombie & Fitch piece, size medium, and this is a merino wool blend. It's a really, really nice fine print with this nice pattern on it. Um, I listed this for 40 and it's already getting some attention, so that'll be really good for the upcoming season. Again, another striped print. I thought this was really, really cute. I love these like muted rainbow colors. This is BDG. I'm very picky about this, even at the bins. It's an Urban, Out Urban Outfitters <laughs> house line. Sometimes it does well, sometimes not. I mostly just pick it up if the piece is really, really trendy. And I feel like this will be. It is oversized. I wish it was a bigger size, not a size small, but it is. And I think this was just, yeah, polyester acrylic, nothing special. But I did like that piece can't remember what I listed it for, but it is listed. This, I don't usually pick up Banana Republic at the bins, again, unless it's very special, but this was a new tag, Banana Republic, eight tall, lightweight wool black dress. Because it was new tags and because it was wool and it's like a longer kind of businessy dress, I did pick it up. I think I listed this for 50 I did use the model photo and it's very, very pretty. Maybe I'll post the photo up here so you guys can see it on. But it's like a short sleeve, midi length or knee length dress. Really nice. I think someone will like that for the fall. This is a, bla bla a black <laughs> ribbed square neck tank. It's very thick and heavy. I'm surprised no one picked this up. Um, it was just thrown in a bin. It is kind of unassuming, but it's Babaton. <laughs> I'm going to edit this video and all these are going to be so blurry. Babaton, size medium. Babaton is an Aritzia brand. This is their Sculpt Knit tank top, which I guess is pretty trendy. I think I listed this for 40 ish dollars, and again, it's getting a lot of attention. This is a Pilcrow piece. I find a lot of Pilcrow at the bins, I think because people don't know it's anthropology. This is a newer piece. It's a mesh, really pretty, like Y2K vibed floral sheer top. Mesh and sheer stuff is actually pretty trendy right now. I'm surprised this isn't getting more views on my Depop closet. I think this will sell there. It is a size small, which is unfortunate. It is oversized, but usually Anthropology does best for me, again, like most brands in their bigger sizes. Then we have this. 
new to me brand. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Mak Makuyobi. If this isn't coming up very clearly, I'll post a picture of the tag. This is an extra, extra small, but they do unisex sizing. It just was a very colorful polo that felt nice, had a unique tag. And it says made in the USA, Los Angeles. And their brand and the pattern, which is Confetti Blast, this pattern, is on the buttons. So those were all good signs to me. I can't remember how much this was originally. The comps seemed pretty good. This is an extra extra small, so not great <laughs> sizing wise. But I want to say I listed that for 30 or more dollars. <laughs> I think I think that brand does it seemed to do the best on Depop. Hopefully I can speed this up. My battery did end up dying. Hopefully I got the last last few pieces to show you guys, but I was showing you this shirt and I kind of did a double take. I threw it back and then I realized that this was a abstract Beatles print and my husband is a huge Beatles fan. I think my battery's actually going to die again. I only charged it for like 5 minutes. Ugh, I really hope it doesn't die. Um he said it was too busy, and I kind of figured that, but it's this brand, Paul Smith, which I guess is actually, I couldn't find out too much about it, but this specific shirt was a collab that Paul Smith did with Bloomingdale's, and it was like a Beatles line. I couldn't find anything like this for sale or that had sold, so I kind of had to make up my own comp, and it's only cotton, but I listed it for $180 yesterday, the day before. It already has a bunch of views on eBay and a watcher, so fingers crossed. That would be a great sale. Um, I need to pick up the pace. This is just a vintage Etro designer button-up shirt. This is just cotton as well. I used the keyword disco with this and hopefully it'll sell it is a retro looking shirt probably not something that's going to get me a lot i do think i listed it for 40 or 50 though so we'll see this is a vintage roberta which is like a no-name vintage brand um drop waist dress keyword on this that i used is sabrina carpenter she's a very popular singer right now and this just gave me sabrina carpenter vibes she is going on tour soon, so I think this would be great if someone's going to her concert or even if they want to dress up as her for Halloween or for something else. I think that would be great. I love finding this brand at the bins. I actually kind of find it pretty often at the bins. Um, that's the logo. It's the brand Beyond Yoga. This is a size small. Their larges usually sell really fast for me, but this is also getting a lot of attention. It's just a little cropped tank top. This is a Madewell shirt. It's a size small, which again, I know better than to pick that up in smaller sizes, but it's a puff sleeve, really cute. Comps actually weren't too bad on this, um, between like 20 and 30, which I think is really high for a Madewell top, um, since I, since Madewell's kind of dropped off. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do well with the puff sleeve. This is a J Crew size medium linen sweater. I do like to pick up J Crew every once in a while at the bins if it's a cute style, a good size, or a good material. And this was a newer style. I think that's from 2022. I think I listed that for 45. Comps are really good on that. Here's a We The Free piece. This one is a size medium. We The Free is a free people line and I pretty much pick up everything free people at the bins. I wouldn't pay up for this, but I think I listed this for about $28. It's a really cute, like, handkerchief hem is that the word tank top that one was a medium and then i also found the same one in gray but this one's a size small very oversized so i can see how the same person probably donated both of those i'm almost done i really want to finish this before my camera dies again this is just a cute little graphic tank top y2k it says goofy foot on the front and then also on the back it's a surfing term this is for like a Hawaiian surf school, I guess. I just liked the way it looked. This is an older free people piece, which is in a size extra small, which isn't great, but I did like this piece. It's a drop waist, again, with a ruffled bottom. It's like a mini dress slash tunic, again, really oversized, has pockets. 
would have probably done better for the spring and summer, but maybe someone's going to go on vacation soon. Here's one more pair of jeans I picked up. Eileen Fisher. I pick up Eileen Fisher pretty often at the bins, but Eileen Fisher doesn't really sell that well for me. And I think I've sold their jeans maybe once before. These are like a straight leg. They're a size medium, which why would you size your jeans like that? I don't know. I listed these kind of low. I think I listed them for like 20-ish. So probably sell on an offer for less. These are a pair of Athleta joggers. I pick up a lot of Athleta at the bins, even though it also hasn't been doing super well for me. But these are their Salutation joggers, which I guess are more sought after. Size medium, color black. Those were actually really nice condition. This is getting a lot of attention. This is just a Victoria's Secret polka dot lace baby doll top satin. I use the word whimsy goth for that, um, which is a pretty trendy style right now. I think especially on Depop. Um, but I didn't list that very high. I think I listed it for like 20. This is a newer style of Nike leggings. Just from feeling it, I could tell that it was a nicer material. I'm trying to show you the logo. It's Nike, Nike Go, dry fit, size small, newer style. These are originally like 120 something dollars, I think. I listed them for just under 40. I wish they were bigger than a size small, but there are a newer, cuter style. All right, and then just two more pieces. I'm gonna breeze through these so my phone or my camera doesn't die. Um, but this gorgeous midi length silk, 100% silk slip dress. When I felt this in the bin, I really couldn't believe no one else had picked it up. I was really thinking it was going to be a vintage Victoria's Secret silk slip dress, which I have found at the bins before and love to find. Those are big money, but this is the brand Vince. It's a size medium, which is a good size. I don't do super well with Vince, but I do pick it up when I see it at the bins. I personally love the brand. It's very expensive, very high quality, very pretty pieces, but resell it's kind of hit or miss. I listed this at 110 and it is already getting a bunch of attention, which is really great. So fingers crossed that that sells pretty quickly. And then the last piece I found, I actually found this at the very end in a bin I had already looked through, but our purses come out in the hardware bins. So I'm pretty sure what people do is just grab as many purses as they can when they come out, look them over for money, and then just throw them back somewhere random. And that's usually where I find the best pieces. This is a Patricia Nash purse. I recognized the logo over here. That's her logo. Um, and it says it in there as well. This is very clean. Some scuffs on the outside, but really a fantastic bag. This is their saddle bag and it's embossed. A very classic look for them. Very Western. Originally like 200 and some odd dollars. So... Yeah, this was a really great bins haul. This was the last piece I found. This and that silk dress are probably my favorite pieces. Let me know what yours were. Again, I spent about $65 on all these pieces, and I think I had some pretty good luck. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let me know how your guys' sourcing and selling is going, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!